Second practice highlights now thanks to Boost Mobile and cars went out 45 degrees in warmer temperatures, clear skies. Awkward start at the beginning though for James Courtney who got all tangled up there in the traffic with the Shell V-Power racing entries and Di Pasquale and Davison were just idling along. That was a bit awkward. And another moment here for Di Pasquale running wide at turn one. He had some friends. Garth Tander explained to us that more and more people were using sixth gear down there and just accelerating the cars so hard into one. It was a bit of a challenge on a cool track to be able to pull up. There was some conjecture mid-session also. The race director got onto the race management channel and told everybody to respect the rules in terms of how you use the working lane, the fast lane and the no-go lane in uh, the pit lane area. And that all got clarified. Everybody was behaving themselves thereafter. What we did see, again, with record-breaking speed, we've got some very fast cars out there. It looks incredibly encouraging as we get into armour or qualifying. Shane Van Gisbergen was able to get the job done to be the fastest man. What a lap time, 18.4. Fastest ever for a supercar around here, and he did it by the narrowest of margins. So David did an 18.6 compared to his original 18.4. So there's a little bit of a gain for Reynolds to be made, I would think, in qualifying. Shane Van Gisbergen dominates practice number two with the fastest time ever at Winton in a supercar. And he's done it by a margin of eight one thousandths of a second over David Reynolds, followed by Chaz Most at Holtzworth. Once again, quick. And then Di Pasquale, Waters, Feeney, Brown, Pye and Davison, our 10, just outside Courtney, then Heimgartner, Hazelwood. Looking further afield down there. So Brody Kostecki still just a little further down than you might otherwise think. Nick Perkett's had a tough run once again. So he's a second off the money down there at the moment in 25th position. So we'll follow that story up for you and understand what the challenges are.